Okay, I'm going to share five words. I um, hope all of you guys are doing well. I pray for us all and um, hopefully you're all staying well during this time and praying for it to be over. <laughs> all right, this is um, by Allie Winters, The Fate of the Nation Rest in the Hands of Those Called by His Name from March 26th. <clears throat> when pushed into a corner, you pray, but when the, the crisis is over, you scatter like sheep without a shepherd. Returning to your old way of life, ignoring God, evil reigns, and man, brief encounter with godliness all too soon forgotten. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven <clears throat> and forgive their sin and will, will heal their land. The fate of the nation rests in the hands of those called by his name, those that will humble themselves, pray, seek his face, and turn from their wicked ways. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and kind in all his deeds. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call out to him in truth. God hears those who have heart of love for his sons, those who understand their weakness, their wickedness, and are humble enough to call upon God in their moment of trial and tribulation seeking his forgiveness, those that recognize their own sin as well as the sin of the nation and grieve, those who are honest and truthful enough to get honest and truthful with God. <clears throat> o Lord, who may abide in your tent, who may dwell on your holy hill, he who walks with integrity and works righteousness and speaks truth in his heart, those who do not slander with their tongue nor do evil to his neighbor, nor take up a reproach against his friend, in whose eyes a reparate is despised, but who honors those who fear the Lord. He swears to his own hurt and does not change. He does not put out his money at interest, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things will never be shaken. You, church, have much for which to repent. America, you have much for which to be ashamed. Barbara Francis, March 26, you will see sudden destruction and fire poured over the land, says the Lord. Babylon, your prophecy will now be fulfilled. While your leaders fight among themselves and pestilence travels through your nation, the king of the north prepares his army. This king never sleeps. He is determined and a brutal warrior. While your people are slothful, his people are fine-tuned army. He is using this world crisis to advance his position. Babylon, my prophets and messengers have warned you. You will see sudden destruction and fire poured out over your land. My words have been written and recorded by John at Patmos. Have you read the, them? This is the apocalypse. Your destruction comes in one hour. A final <clears throat> cleansing of the land, the wicked and unrepentant. Even the hidden places in the clefts of the rocks will melt. Pray you are worthy to escape the wrath to come. I, play, I speak plainly through my messengers, and yet you do not heed the warnings. I'm going to pause for a second and go find two videos that, um, I, that this confirms that I've done. Okay, the first one here is from March 2, 2018, so two years ago. Um, only has 132 views. <laughs> um, this was a dream that the Lord gave me. And the interpretation was something from the north affecting us, but his people are protected. So I had this dream on January 26, 2018. I had confirmation given to me today about the thing coming from the north that we are headed for war affecting us. Although the righteous are here and mingled with the unrighteous, we will not be harmed by it, but protected. The wicked will be affected and will try to retaliate, but will be unsuccessful. We see that in the end. Um, good wins. He gave me the word November 9, 2, the year, uh, no year given, so don't put, go putting 2018 on it, but only he knows what November 9th. It is interesting that 9-11 occurred, and then he told me 11-9. It would be like the enemy to, to attack on the same day, but just in reverse numbers, so November 9th. And then... Um, had another dream so I made this video um, about a word and two dreams I had back in January 2015 um, on January 24 2015 I prayed about having him share with me what he wanted 
And these are the two short dreams and word I received um, correction. He didn't give me Psalm 91 and 121. Those came to my mind after the interpretation of the dreams. In dream one, my middle son and I were riding down a water slide on a plastic pipe seat. When we went over a large hump, our seat became dislodged and we were airborne. Once gravity took effect, we connected back to the slide and it miraculously lodged or locked back in place with the slide. Interpretation, he will guide and protect us, keep us safe from harm. So Psalm 91. Dream two, times were hard on thing at hard and times were hard and things, food, water, first aid supplies, and even clothing were scarce. People were coming to me for help and in need. I kept giving them things they asked for or needed, even though I was very low on things myself. Nothing ran out. It was like the miracle of the fish and loaves feeding the five thousand. Interpretation, God will supply all our needs. He will miraculously give us what is needed, not all we want or desire, but what we need. And then I know I mentioned Psalm 32 in the video. That is a good one for his about his help as well. And then he gave me the word, I will destroy it in a day. I took it to mean the U.S. and its destruction judgment of the Lord when that day comes. But of course, we know that the whole world will be destroyed in the end, not just the U.S. He gave me no timing for this word, but we see it in God's word in Revelation, all these other books that will occur during the, tri during the tribulation for many countries, for many countries at the end of it. So I will destroy it in a day. I'll leave links to those videos. It, it goes with what she said here in her current video. Um, your destruction comes in one hour, a final cleansing of the land, the wicked and unrepentant. Okay. And we also see um, a shortage of food and medical supplies already. This is by Victoria Ang. Sorry, there's a video pop-up. Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord, April 1st. Such an evil and wicked generation that continues to deny what is right in front of their face, yet they turn a blind eye and deaf ear to my warnings. So many choose to see these judgments of plagues as real. They mock and scoff, denying my continual warnings. They go about their merry way as if they live in a fantasy land. So be it. Continue to stiffen your hearts and minds towards me, and you will reap as you have sown. I have extended my hand over and over towards you in grace and mercy, only to be pushed back by defiant, stiff-necked, unrepentant people, far worse than the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. My hand of protection over many will be released, and I will turn you over to the adversary, and you will soon see just how dark things in your lives will be without me. My heart breaks for all that I have done to spare my children from such torment and pain. Soon my warnings for all will subside, and there will no longer be another chance to come to, to me. Seek me while there is still little time left. This is by Stephen Hansen. Um, this is the beginning of the end, April 1st. <clears throat> and um, when shortly after, well, shortly after the new year, when the COVID-19 was coming around, um, I felt in my spirit <clears throat> that the, with the Holy Spirit, that this is the beginning of the end. And I, I told my husband that. <laughs> It's just the beginning of labor pains. The Lord said very plainly to me, this is the beginning of the end. Be careful of those who think that they know what is going on, for there are many deceivers now. Many think that they know the sequence of events that are going to be coming forth, but I tell you that no one knows these things. Some have been deceived into thinking that their revelation is enlightened more than others, but I dispense my gifts unto many. If you have a check in your spirit about something that someone has said, then that is my spirit alerting you. Truly, there are many things that are to come forth. Truly, there are many horrendous things that are coming. But I am still holding back the dam because the, that the time is short. Many will be deceived in the coming months and years. For even now, many have been deceived into thinking that Trump is a righteous man. But I tell you that the enemy is at work there. This epidemic will continue for some time, for the disease has spread to the globe. And yet, I am able to heal your diseases. But do not be mistaken, this is the beginning of the end. For after all of these events have transpired, your nation will be hurled into another series of misfortunes. I hold the keys of life and death and know, and know that, it, it, that in the end, I have triumphed over death. 
Amen. The Vice, April 2nd, Byron Searle, Jeremiah 25, 27, 28. My people, do you feel the pressure yet? Will you not humble yourself before me and repent? Those of my people who know this judgment that, cur that currently is surrounding the whole world is for one purpose, to drive my people to their knees in repentance. For out of judgment comes repentance, and out of repentance comes revival. I have the whole world in a vice, and I am slowly turning the screw and bringing pressure upon all people. My son, the pressure will continue to grow as more judgments rain down on the world. My remnant have felt the pressure for some time, but those who have been asleep did not feel pressure, so they are not prepared. They, so they are not prepared for what is still to come. This germ is just the beginning of the pressure. It will continue to cascade and grow worse and worse. Do not heed the false prophets that say this will pass, and all things will resume as before. I said that 2020 would start with a bang, and being just the beginning, it has. There will be many bangs before the boom. Note, it is my understanding that the bang referred to above is the coronavirus pandemic. Please see the word from the Lord that was given to me on 12 4 regarding the year 2020 that speaks of the bang and the boom. My son, the economy will now collapse faster as man has stepped in and tried to fix it. No one has called on me to fix it, so it will be worse now than before. Your king is trying with all his might to save the world. He will fail, for now is the time of the end. The earth will start shaking, and it will seem to everyone that it will not stop. The stars will fall from heaven like rain, many striking in the water, sending great waves to every shore. My son, as the vice is getting close, as the vice is closing tighter, more people will seek out those I have called. Many people will repent, but the end is not yet, for you see, it is my hand turning the screw to the vice. All things that are occurring upon the earth are from me, and I will not relent until the last man repents. My son, the time of the end is here, and my remnant are ready to shine. I will call them home to prepare them for the grand finale. My remnant, I love you so as you have given all of your given of your all to serve me. Many hours I have heard you cry out for your family, your friends, your city, your nation. I've seen all the tears you have shed, yet no one else knows this. You have been living in your secret place, praying down the gates of hell and repenting relentlessly, relentlessly for a corrupt and sinful people. I have heard you. <clears throat> My son, do not believe the governments of the world. They only want to protect themselves and their money gods. I will bring down every false god in the world. I will grind them to powder and make those who worship them drink of the indignation. I say this now to those people who hear this prophecy, to repent now, turn from your idolatrous evil ways, and I will forgive you. Thus saith the Lord, I am is closing the vice, and none will be spared. All you will, all will feel the great pressure. Turn to me now. Amen, Lord Jesus. So I wanted to also show you another word that he gave me he gave me um this short dream it was like a vision on um 92814 and i put the video october 1st 2014 um everybody was wearing masks um i took it as a vision perhaps this was straight out vision of things to come if so, we may succumb to wearing masks soon to prevent contamination and further spread of a virus. And that's what I wrote back um, almost like five and a half years ago. So um, I'll leave a link to this as well. And the last link I'll, sh I'll leave in the text box is to um, a word that the Lord gave me. Um, back on it was in february 2016 um there will be a collapse within a collapse right before wa uh, waking on saturday february 13th i knew he meant collapse of society as we know it after the economic collapse i pray and asked him to confirm to me and he did the next morning i had a couple of dreams that revealed the same thing to me so i put this video out um four years ago but we know that the second or the second seal is war third seal is economic collapse in revelation chapter six and the fourth seal is um 
death by famine, war, and pestilence. So we are in those times, people, and so we need to repent, give our hearts daily to the Lord, and um, focus on him and his kingdom, witnessing to others as the days are short. God bless.